Welcome back to another episode of Zendimental. Today's topic is overcoming your mountains. We're going to set goals, shift our mindset, and resolve these New Year resolutions. For real this time. Let's begin our journal exercise. What you'll need. Something to write or type on. Ideally, this will be done with a journal and a pencil. However, this exercise can be done digitally, on a whiteboard, or in a sticky note. If you can think of it, you can probably do it. Just don't write it with Sharpie on somebody's face while they sleep, because that's bad. All right, let's draw a mountain. And for my stick figure people, you can draw a triangle. That works too. We're gonna identify the mountain. What are you struggling with? Is it finances, relationships, health? What are you trying to accomplish? We're gonna think big picture here. Let's just pick one to focus on for right now. We all have struggles or obstacles we want to overcome. This step is about thinking the theme through that you wanna tackle. We start with the current assessment. Where are you in relationship to your mountain? This is a very personal question and only you can answer it. Draw yourself and your current proximity to the mountain. Stick figures are fine. Do you have your head buried in the sand to avoid it? Maybe you're even on the moon because you're so far away. Or are you actively running towards the mountain? Just be honest. Number three is to focus on the goals. We're going to break it down into small goals. For example, if you pick the finances theme, one goal might be to increase passive income. Another goal might be to create a budget. If you chose the relationship theme, self-love could be a topic for you, or even boundaries. For health, other examples include diet or exercise. Be prepared to have a long list of goals around each mountain theme, but pick your top one to three to focus on. Is this a one-time goal, such as setting a driver's license? Or is this a lifelong goal, such as maintaining a safe driving record? We want to think both short and long term. Next, we want to symbolize these goals. Think of a picture that represents the goal or just write a simple word or phrase to summarize it. A picture that evokes a strong emotion for you is best. I chose a river for passive income because it represents money constantly flowing in. I chose a picture of two credit cards with arrows to show money that's being balanced. This represents the budget. What feels right for you? Next, we're gonna talk about obstacles. What's in your way? What's preventing you from starting or continuing? Is it situational, environmental, emotional, or mental? This may be the hardest part because it's often hiding in our unconscious thoughts and feelings. If you're stuck, imagine how you literally feel when you attempt to make progress and then build from there. Now we're going to symbolize the obstacles. In this example, debt and financial illiteracy could be obstacles in the way of your financial success. If you think of many obstacles, you can write a separate list to review later. The important part is to pick the most challenging ones first and work on those. Or if that's too intimidating, pick the easiest ones. Once you make progress, it will give you the momentum you need to tackle more difficult obstacles. Now comes the fun part. Put that thinking cap on. If you would like to literally do that, visit this link. Credit to musical artist Legendary CST. It is time to think of solutions. We're gonna brainstorm and make your brain ideas. Tip, have a separate sheet of paper or area to write where you can come up with as many ideas as possible. Do not filter yourself. And don't be afraid to ask others for help on this part either. 
After reviewing, take your top three to five ideas and incorporate them into this journal exercise. Explore. Sometimes other people's advice is full of wisdom, but sometimes you have to explore your own path. Don't be afraid to figure out what that is. All right, now it's time to symbolize our solutions. One idea is to get credit and financial counseling. This image is represented by a playbook, kind of like what football coaches use to create a strategy for to win the play. There are many agencies that offer this service for free. Another solution is to downsize your lifestyle. If you live in a house, maybe you can rent a room from someone who would charge you cheap rent until you can get on your feet. Now it's time to put it all together. There we have it. Now we have a holistic game plan. We have identified what we are struggling with, some specific obstacles, potential solutions, and the desired outcome. We are ready to accomplish our resolutions and create the life of our dreams. But please do not forget about your inner child. Some things we struggle with are a result of trauma, whether that was sustained in our childhood or adulthood. What you can do is meditate. Keep doing the inner work and sending yourself love, peace, and light. I hope to share some guided meditations with you all soon. More Zen for Peace Within is yet to come. Follow me on our social media. Have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. Love you.